Welcome to Wicked Wrapping. My name is Megan and I'll be your guide to everything baby wearing and beyond. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to do the scarf carry with a Lexi twist. So let's get started. So for the tutorial today we're going to be doing a scarf carry and we're going to do a little variation at the end where we put a Lexi twist on it um, and it will give a very nice look to the carry while also giving some added um, strength. Um, and a little bit of a belt so that it adds um, more durability to the carry so you can do it for a longer period of time. So one of the ways that you start off measuring this, you're gonna find your middle marker. And today we're using a Banu textile or a Faraday wrap. And this is uh, the wrap called Out of Time. So you're gonna find your middle marker. And you're gonna measure it out. So your middle marker you want to be kind of right here in the middle of your chest and you're going to measure out your top rail over your shoulder back to the middle of your back. And that's where you're going to start the carry. You can start the carry just by having the wrap draped over your shoulders just like this and then you can get baby up. I find that's a little bit difficult just because I lose a lot of my slack here when I'm tightening. So I want to um, start off center and that's gonna help me to get baby um, into a higher seat on my back and not lose my slack of the scarf carry. So let me go and get my baby. So today we have Echo here with us today and she's 16 months old. She's about 25 pounds. And this wrap that we have here with us is a Farida. It's out of time. And it is a 4.6 meter, 100% uh, mulberry silk wrap. And we're gonna go ahead and get her up on my back. So however you wanna do that, remember to start off center. This wrap, <laughs> this wrap is currently my base minus one with her. You're going to pin the long one between your legs and the short strap, you're going to make sure that you've got your rails nice and tight, top rail, bottom rail nice and tight, baby's nice and high on your back. The short, after you get your seat, you're going to make sure that that short rail is nice and tight and you're going to bring it down underneath baby's leg, making it tight again. Now you've got um, your first unpoppable seat there. Now you're going to take this short one, go over your long one. Now you're gonna pin the short one down between your knees as tight as you can get it. And that long side is now gonna go up over your shoulder. goes up over the opposite shoulder. You're gonna go over baby's back, making sure to get that top rail nice and high on baby. And you're just gonna pull it till it's tight. That bottom rail, make sure you're getting knee to knee with that bottom rail. And then you're going to pull, you're going to pull this side nice and tight and pull it down again underneath baby's other leg, keeping as much tension as you can so you don't lose your tension. And here you're going to do a little bit of adjusting. So now I got baby in her seat. Now the rail that you just brought under, you're going to kind of make a pass over your chest like this. And you're going to go up and through your scarf that you have going on there. Pulling it through. really tightening. So now you've got one of your chest passes done. 
can see that there. Now I'm going to pin that side while I fix my other side here. This was kind of my anchor to start out with so I didn't lose my slack on my scarf. Now I'm going to tighten this, get my nice chest pass there. Fixing my shoulders a little bit as well if I need to. Now you've got both of your chest passes in place. This is traditionally where you could stop with the scarf carry and you could just bring this back around and tie it off. I'm going to add a couple little twists, a couple Lexi twists, and that will help just to kind of add a little bit of a chest belt, add some extra support. So I'm just going to take it and twist one and two, three, right there. You can see you've got that nice twist going on there. And then you just push it around back and tie it off. And like I said, this is my base minus one. So it can be done with the base minus one. Um, if you want a little bit of extra tail on the back, you can always do go longer. Um, I was not able to get this nice Lexi twist done uh, with anything less than a base minus one. But as you can see, you've got that nice carry in the back, that unpoppable seat. Baby's not gonna go anywhere. And you've got this beautiful carry here in the front. And that's it. If, like I said, you can do it with the Lexi Twist, you don't have to. Um, but it is a very nice and sturdy carry. Uh, this is not going to move at all. Um, unless baby's a big leaner, you might have to just make sure that your top rails are super tight. But if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Always remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a wicked wrapping time. Bye-bye.